basic overview on how to copy photos and picture on mobile device like what you call it? Like an iPad. All right. So these are actually some photos I shot on a Pentax 645Z. So you just click this little share button and click import to Visco in the bottom right corner, and just click uh, OK. And you just open up the Visco app and all the photos that you've imported should be here in your studio. Or another way you could kind of go about it is you could just press this button in the top right corner, turn on photo access, photos, read and write, go back. Right, cool, double click that, home button, go back to Visco, top right corner, images, and usually I like to do is just flag the favorites, and then based on that, you just kind of quickly scroll through your photos, see what you like, and then just import the photos that you like, and then you could figure out how to process them afterwards. So I personally find the iPad one of the most epic stuff for productivity and looking at pictures and this overall imagery because the screen is so big, it's so cheap now, and the iPad Pro is, for me, actually one of my, my best investments in terms of just looking at images and staying focused on doing my creative work. So let's say I'm just kind of scrolling through my images, and if there's several photos you like, so you could just click it, tap, Uh, let's say I like these and then I can just press import on the bottom cool so if I want to process the photo I could just usually just double click, uh, double click an image and then click this adjust tool down here and there's all these different tools that you use to add different presets so I'm a personally a big fan of these 8 series presets and if you guys have followed my blog, you know that I'm a big fan of A6. And you could, you could click the A6 preset and you could drag this to the left and right to adjust the power. Once you get something that looks about good, usually like, it's something between 10 and 12 for me. I like to around 10. Press plus, click save, cool. And then in the bottom right corner, you could just click share. So this could be like NYC, 2017, and then people are curious, Pentax 645Z, hashtag A6, hashtag Street Tags. Cool, done. And then you could click plus. Oh, cool, you could make this to Twitter. That's pretty useful. Anyways, publish that to Visco. Another thing you could do is once you have a photo that you like, the top right corner, click here, save to camera roll. And you could you know, choose small, medium, large, or actual size. Here I'll choose actual size. And the useful thing is once you go back to the home, you go back to your photos, go back, go back, all photos. Now you have your beautiful photo here in blistering high res for you to share to your other platforms. So generally what I like to do is, I'm a big fan of using WordPress. So I use my websites hosted on wordpress.org and I use 101.com. And what I'll just do is, I'll, I can just upload photos to my media library. So in my WordPress, I can just click add new, select files, photo browser, all photos, click this, click done. And essentially I could just upload my photos directly to my media library and then I can insert these directly into my blog. So the reason I like to do this is for the following reason. I like to do this because I've been so stuck, stuck in the Instagram ghetto for so long and just you go, you go out and try to make nice photos and upload to Instagram, get the likes, followers, blah, blah. But I started to realize that I was just building my whole kingdom on quicksand, that I wasn't really using this opportunity for me to start essentially 
building my own platform, my own blog, my own website. And so now ever since I deleted my Instagram, I've been spending more time on uploading more stuff to my website and my blog. And for me, it's been amazing because I just have more control, I have more flexibility, and it's actually just easier for me to find and access my files. So if you've uploaded a bunch of photos to Instagram, I mean, A, there's no real way to download them yet. I mean, they're probably going to institute something you can mass download all your photos or whatever. But the downside is it's probably not really in full res. And what I recommend instead is to keep your photos saved and synced on Dropbox. So a simple way you could do this is the following is use Dropbox. And I'm generally a big fan of using Dropbox Pro. I have about a terabyte and it's amazing especially since we have so many devices and i got different years so like 2018 let's say i created a new folder and for simplicity's sake let's call this folder visco so vs vs co click done create and what i could do is click create upload photos and what I'll do is I could directly upload my photos from my iPad that I process directly to my Dropbox. So the problem is sometimes this thing is stupid, it doesn't really keep everything synced correctly. So let's say, let me just process another photo there. So let's go back to Visco, go back, let's see, double click that, I like this picture too. Oh, this is another pro hack you could do. Is once you've processed the photo and you like it, you just click it. In the bottom right corner, press three dots, click copy edits. And you what you like. In the bottom right corner, click paste edits. So boom, it's already pasted the edits. Or you could just click this again, click A6, and you could manually adjust the settings. Click plus, and you could further adjust these settings by Next, next, next. You could change the exposure, just a little bit brighter if you want. So let's say this all looks pretty good. Close your eyes, press plus, click save. And then top right corner, click save to camera roll. Actual size. All right, so let's say I have, now I, have, I can go back to photos and scroll all the way to the bottom. So I have, I have these two photos which are processed. Top right corner, click select, select, select. Then click add to. Top left corner, new album. Let's say, I'll just title this Visco. Save. So the reason I'm doing this is especially when going to photos. It's just kind of a, a workaround for Dropbox, which can get a little stupid. All right, so go back to the Dropbox. Click go Visco. Click upload photos. And now under all photos, click this. And then what you have to do is you have to find that subfolder you made. So once again, iPad is not the perfect solution, but I found some fun ways to get around it. Oh look, there's actually a folder called Visco, which shows all of the stuff you process on Visco. I guess that's actually way more useful. Yes, yeah, cool. So you can see all the photos you've already processed on Visco, which are useful. So let's just say I click this one, this one. Next, and you can rename them um, Visco NYC A6 Pentax 645Z or Kim Street. And the reason why this is useful is that down the, lo uh, down the road, when you're trying to actually find your files, it's just easier to access the files based on searching these keywords and these names. And also I'm uploading these from Dalat, which is awesome because in Vietnam, the Wi-Fi is insanely fast. I freaking love this place to pieces. And if I want to upload this to my server, once again, I can just double click and then go to my Safari. And then the reason why I like doing this is, let's say if I do a new blog post, title this, I don't know. Um, iPad workflow with Visco and Dropbox. And then you just click here, text, and new. And then already here in my media library, you can see I have this photo here. Let's 
17. Turn it to post. Or I can set this as featured image. This is not like I love iPod and the Dropbox. Colon and enter more. And then you can click save draft. If you want to just add another image, return, return, add media, upload files, files photo library. This other photo I shot, done. Wait for this bad boy to open. So essentially one of my big passions in life is entrepreneurship and essentially this concept of owning your own future and owning your own destiny. And the reason why I'm so passionate about it is this, is that in today's world, too much power is getting concentrated into Facebook, Instagram, social media. And I think the downside is that we become disempowered is we have less control over what we do, what we produce. And I think one of the prerequisites to living the best life is to essentially <laughs> build your own photography business and be able to build your own platform. And I've personally found that iPad Pro is one of the best ways to speed up your workflow. And considering the fact that the iPad Pro is only about, I think like 700 bucks compared to buying a brand new MacBook Pro, which could cost you up to $2,000. So the iPad Pro is actually a very effective way of uh, saving money. And I still think, I think now actually the iPad is good enough that you could actually have a proper iPad workflow. It's still a little bit clunky around the edges and I don't think the iPad will ever be as good as the laptop. I mean, I still have a MacBook Pro when I need to do some really heavy video editing and stuff like that. But I think for the most part, basic content creation, basic photo editing, uh, using Visco and all these other mobile tools is an amazing, amazing way to empower us as photographers and creatives. And also the great thing with iPad Pro is that there's so much, so much processing power behind it, so it could actually significantly speed up your workflow. So even one thing that I did was I installed the, or sorry, I used, I shot my friend's entire wedding on a Pentax X for 5Z camera, and I used the iPad Pro to import the photos via the SD card reader lightning cable, and I processed all the photos with A6 process, and I was able to send the post super fast, super quickly. So anything that could speed up your workflow is effectively a good thing. So this is just a basic overview of how I do things on my iPad. Hopefully this could give you some new inspiration and new ideas how you can do it yourself. There's no real right or wrong way to do this. But yeah, I just encourage you to just kind of play around, experiment, and just kind of have fun with it. Insert to post, preview.